Ciao Chris, come stai? Senti, ho una domanda per te. Mi confondo spesso per come usare used to, ossia so che si può usare sia al passato che al presente per azioni o che siamo abituati o che facevamo. Sono confusa Chris, ti prego, aiutami. Grazie. Hi Arianda, thanks for your video. This is a really good question because I hear a lot of people confusing these two constructions and if you make a mistake with them, people can think you are talking about the past instead of the present or vice versa. Okay, so to explain the difference, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. So I don't know if you know, but I used to live in France. Yeah, from the age of four until seven. I used to go to elementary school in France and I used to speak French. I used to be fluent in French. But when I was seven, I came back to the UK and I stopped speaking French. I didn't need it anymore. I don't have the habit anymore. I can still remember some French and if I wanted to, I could probably speak it again, but I would need a lot of practice because I am not used to speaking French anymore. I don't have the habit anymore. In fact, the last time I tried speaking French last year, I just kept on speaking Italian. I am too used to speaking Italian now. Did you notice the difference between the two constructions I used? I used to live in France. Past. I used to speak French. Past. I am not used to speaking French. Present. I am used to speaking Italian. Present. For a past habit, I, subject, used to live. Verb in simple form. For a present habit, I am, subject plus to be, used to speaking verb in gerund form. Now, there is a common mistake I hear a lot. Here is an example. Now I'm very fit because I'm used to go to the gym. But in English, that sounds like you don't go to the gym. Confusing. The best thing to say in that situation is, now I'm very fit because I go to the gym. Don't forget that in English, for habitual actions, we mainly use the present simple. I go to the gym. I hope that answers your question and thanks again for your video. If you would like me to answer your question about English, please send me a video.